Look at this ammo and these guns. They really stink. How are you supposed to survive a fight with even a scav? Let alone a group of PMCs. Well, don't you worry. Today I'm going to be giving you some great loadouts to use before you get to your level 2 traders and actually unlock some good stuff. Hello everyone, this is CZTL and today I'll be giving you some great loadouts to use for the beginning of patch 13.0. So let's dive right in. If you're first opening up the game, there are three weapons that you should focus on buying for your first couple raids. They are the Keter, the MP153, and the PPSH. The Keter is good because it works directly out of the box. You don't have to do anything and it comes with 130 round mag. You can only buy 20 round mags, so you are a little bit restricted here. The Keter can be hard to purchase, so if you want to purchase it, you have to set an alarm or a timer for when the traders restock. And there's a little trick that you can use instead of trying to buy it through the UI like you normally do. If you right click on the Keter, a filter by item, don't have any filters of like min stock of one or anything like that, just have the Keter there. And then what you do is you hit tab and then tab again, and it will refresh without using this refresh button because there's a cooldown on this. So if everyone's trying to buy this, it's going to be very hard to, to buy it. So what, what you could do is you keep hitting tab and it refreshes it. And then you're a lot more likely to be able to, to purchase it than people who are just hitting refresh. That same tip goes with any other attachment that you might want to add to a gun as well. And while 9x18 is not going to chew through armor, it will be very effective against legs because it has a very high fire rate of 900 RPM. So when you're using this gun, either go for the legs or go for the head. In terms of ammo for the Keter when you use it, I recommend either PMPPE or PMPPT. PMPPE gives you the highest flesh damage round from any rounds that you can buy from proper level 1, and that is 61. It's only got 7 pen power, so that's why you don't go for armor. PMPPT, however, gives you a 7% recoil reduction with only sacrificing 2 damage points. Now the PPSH, you can't do anything to it. You can just buy mags, and they fit 35 bullets in it. And this thing has a whopping 1000 RPM, so this thing really kicks. But it does kind of veer off and up and to the left, which is different from most other guns. So you have to keep that in mind when using it. But I like to go for legs or head, mostly legs with this gun. In terms of ammo, you're going to need a lot of it. I either go with AKBS ammo or LRNPC ammo. LRNPC gives you a recoil bonus of 10%, and it also has the highest flesh damage of any round, so it is a great choice. AKBS is the alternative ammo that I like to use, and that sacrifices 8 flesh damage, but it gives you 5 more percent recoil reduction. So it's also a great choice. It's up to you. It's also cheaper. This next gun requires you to unlock Jaeger, but that could be your first quest that you complete. It's the MP133. You don't really have to do anything to this gun to make it effective, but if I can grab one of these sprut mounts off a scav, I love to do that and then put a laser flashlight on it. That way I don't have to ADS to know where I'm shooting and I can shoot legs and see in the dark. In terms of ammo early white, I like to use the express buckshot or the 7 mil buckshot. Express gives 9 pelts at 35 damage, 7 mil gives 8 at 39. The reason I'm sticking with buckshot here is because you're either going to be going for legs or head, and you're going to be outputting more damage with these two rounds rather than slugs. And if you're going for head, there's more room for error, so you don't have to be directly on their head to actually hit them. And for the flashlight, you can put on the Glock GTL 21 flashlight, which is available from Mechanic Level 1 for 16,800, and it's got a laser flashlight combo. After you have Jaeger unlocked, in my opinion, the best starting gun is the VPO 209. This gun doesn't need much to get going. All you have to do is take off that front sight, take off the dust cover, put on the bastion, add a mag of EKO rounds and a sight to go on top of that, and you're pretty much good to go. The beauty about this gun is you can buy this Ultimac M1B gas tube and handguard combo from Skier for very cheap. You get 1% less recoil and less durability burn, and plus 6 ergo. It also allows you to put a flashlight on it, which not many starting guns that pack a punch like this do. Now that VPO is so good because it's using EKO rounds, which are very cheap and very good early white. They have 30 pen power, 
So they'll do some damage to level four, but they'll go through level three and level two armors, no problem. And they deal 73 damage. So if you hit arms or legs, they're still gonna be hurting them a lot. Not only that, you get a 15% recoil reduction. This is a very good round early wipe. And in my opinion, We'll wrap guns up with some ones that aren't available right away. You actually have to go out and get some items or complete some tasks to get some things for them, but they're still available on level 1 traders. One of the crowd favorites, the UMP, is great. You need a DVD, a hard drive, and two caps for this trade. The other great barter for the UMP is for 7 silver knives. Go in without a melee weapon, equip these when you find them off scav, and even if you die, you'll come back with the knife, and then you can barter for the UMP. Essentially seven raids and you get a free UMP for the most part. And it also comes set up to be able to take a foregrip, a top mounted sight, and a flashlight right out of the box. Right. One of the reasons why the UMP is so good is because you can shoot bullets that have 25 pen and do 72 damage. 25 pen will on occasion get through class three armors and 72 damage is a lot of damage. So this packs a mean punch, especially when you can only buy class two and three armor. Next is this M4. And I wouldn't really use an M4 until I completed Gunsmith Part 1. And that's because completing Gunsmith Part 1 allows you to replace the gas block. The normal M4 gas block is this very annoying front sight gas block combo. And it really obscures what you're looking at when you look through a hollow sight because there's two different areas that you're aiming at. The reason why I'm choosing the M4 here is because you can buy these FMJ rounds from Skier Level 1 for pretty cheap. There are only 98 rubles around and they have 23 pen and do 54 damage. They also have a high chance to fragment and give you minus five recoil. They're a pretty good round. They'll go through packas and even have a chance to pen level three armors. They're not gonna be doing great against level fours though. The last gun I'm gonna recommend, you can't buy. You have to craft it, but it's not that bad of a craft. All you need are weapon parts and two parts that you can buy from traders. And you can craft we weapon parts either from an SKS or VPO, depending on which craft you want to do. And it uses these two as utilities. As you can see, I can't do this right now because I don't have the screwdriver because they use that in the barter to get the MP153 to be used for gunsmith. But as soon as they get that back, I'm going to be using this gun a lot more. So in terms of attachments, what I would do here is grab a Bastion from Skier Level 1, replace the gas tube and handguard with this Ultimac if you want a flashlight. I like to do this and because I always like to have a flashlight handy. You will have a gun that has 77 recoil and doesn't shoot too fast, so it's pretty easy to control. If you can't craft the AK-74N, you could try to use the AK-47SU, although I find the recoil to be horrendous, but it does shoot the same ammo as AK-74N. Now, the reason why these 545 guns are so good are because of the ammo that you can use. And you're gonna say, well, you can only buy, I think, T from level one traders. That's not very good in the 20 pen. But PS is available after delivery from the past as a reward. You can buy it and that has 27 pen. And you can find PP, BP, BT, and BS ammo all over some maps, primarily woods and reserve. And you have to go to woods a lot for your early quests. So you're bound to find some of this ammo and you could just put that in your gamma and save some of it for when you're running this gun. I personally have quite a bit of these rounds and I'm starting to use them right now and they are destroying armors. PPGS, that's going to have a chance to go through level four armor, which almost no other rounds that we've talked about are able to do. And because we talked about found in raid ammo, you do find a fair amount of PS ammo in raid. And when you do that, the OPSKS with the dovetail sight is a great choice as well. So that does it for guns. In terms of armor early white, you're stuck with the Paka or this rig. I prefer this rig because this rig and the second biggest rig that you can buy, they're not that much different. I personally keep running Pakas because they keep coming back in insurance. They have 50 durability and they're armored, but they are only level two, so they're not gonna stop much. In terms of helmet, you gotta keep yourself protected. Wear a helmet, it will save your life. And when it does, you're, you'll be thankful. You don't wanna go through a whole raid just to die to a buckshot scav. In terms of backpacks, I believe the Burke coat takes something to unlock it. So the MBSS, if that's the only thing that you can buy, 
is the biggest one, so might as well use that. Or you can craft scab backpacks, um, which is what I've been doing. These have more slots, the same as the birth boot, if you can buy that. But this is a lot cheaper than buying the birth boots. And if you really want to look fashionable, wear a balaclava. Nothing says, I'm going to kill you, like a sock over your head. So in my opinion, this is one of the best loadouts that you can get early white. And if I wasn't using this rig, I'd be scouring Ragman to try to buy this before it goes out of stock. So now you should be equipped to go out there and wreak some havoc on all the other PMCs. And help get Jaeger his delicious sausage. Well, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, smash the like out of that chip button. Consider subscribing for more Tarkov content in the future. And I will see you on the battlefield. CZTL out.